Hello Zebra Herd, welcome back to Plant vs. Zombies 2. Today, we are moving forward with Big Wave Beach. Of course, in the last episode, we got started with it and got the first eight levels done. Now we're doing levels nine through 16, and let's hope it turns out well. I do wanna apologize, it's been a couple days since I was able to get another video out, just because super busy, bunch of games came out, bunch of schedule problems, and I just didn't have any other PBZ pre-recorded to rely on, so I just didn't have the time to record anymore. Uh, survive without planting on Dave's mold colonies. Oh boy, this will be interesting. Okay, well, lots of zombies here. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna think about this. A lot of people were saying I should probably just focus more on Primal Sunflower at this point. Obviously, um, Potato mine won't be too helpful. Where's the lily pad? Because I'm definitely gonna need more of that and that. And I guess our goal next is to get the bowling ball, which will be pretty cool. That'll be cool. Hopefully we get that done in today's episode. We'll have to wait and see. See, I still feel like I wanna do more of the launching plants, so something like that might be good. And then maybe at some point, it'd be very helpful if we could get some winter melon. And maybe as like a last second thing, we could do something like a cherry bomb. Some people are saying that I definitely should try to go for some lower cost plants. I'm hoping the Colonel Pult will be that. Luckily, they do start us with a couple of good lily pads, so that's always nice to see. And I'm gonna be able to get a couple more as well. But right now, the, uh, the whatever it's called, I'm forgetting the same right now. But you know, oh gosh, and there's more than one. That's not good. Um, yeah, the seaweed's gonna be our biggest help. So I'm thinking then, Maybe I could just do that for now. If it gets nasty, which it looks like it's about to, I could try to do that. Man, this is going quick. I, I definitely gotta get like my PVZ mojo back on as well, because I don't have that right now. Come on now. So I need to put this here. Oh, luckily we're getting zombies in the same spot again. And if I get that plant food, that's gonna be real useful because I can put uh, that on the primal sunflower and get a whole bunch of stuff. Get a bunch of sun, that'd be useful for sure. Okay, I got that, gonna put that sunflower there. Huge wave of zombies approaching already. I might not have the chance to do that though. <laughs> okay, come on. Might have to use it for something else. First off, do that. Okay, there's the plant food. There's this. Just a little bit more sun and we can get this kernel pult. It's just not enough, it's not enough firepower. That's the problem right now. So I'm thinking I might do good old Colonel Pult attack, just like that. Okay, not too bad actually, that's slowing everybody down just long enough that I can keep getting things set up, like that. Whoa, what happened to my, I thought I put a lily pad down. Didn't quite work. Okay, so that guy's gonna get slowed down a little bit. We definitely need to start replacing some primal walnut soon. Oh, this is risky. It's scary. I'm thinking what I might end up doing just to clear out things. I don't know if I wanna have enough sun to do this or if it'll be a good idea whatsoever. Wait, I put another kernel bolt there. That's not what I meant to do. Whoops. Uh, but I'm thinking these walnuts are not looking so good right now. Yeah, I'm gonna do a little bit of a chaboof. Little cherry bomb. So, what can I do here? First off, get that there. Man, this is definitely a difficult one. Not planning over the, the, the mold colony. Definitely makes it a bit more difficult. I just need a lot more sun. That's all I need. There's a big chunk of sun so that hopefully I can get myself a winter melon pole. Pronto. The more we can slow enemies down, the better. I'm gonna put that there because I just feel like it'd be a good spot for it. Yes, okay. So, should I do it? I'm doing it. There we go. Okay, we have enough for winter melon pole. I'm gonna put it right here and that should slow everybody down in a big way. That's it, that's what I'm talking about. Now we gotta do a similar thing over that way as well, up top. But it might take me a moment, so in the meantime, let's just do the, the Tangle Kelp, that's what it is. I'm remembering now, I'm using my old noggin. <laughs> okay, so this is sort of kind of working. Oh my gosh, I'm scared, I'm so scared. But low tide, I forgot there was gonna be low tide. Oh no, bah, got him. Okay, 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 we can do this still, we can do this. It's possible, it's doable, I know it is. Um, I might have to replace a couple of uh, walnuts here and there, but then if we could just do this, oh, that'd be perfect. That'd be super duper perfect as we have a huge wave coming in. I'm gonna use some plant food, try to slow some of these guys down. So I can't put one of those guys down right now at the moment. That's sort of unfortunate, but it's the best I can do is just to keep moving. 
Oh, and it's going somewhere for sure. Just getting the butt around. Honestly, that lane with the Colonel Pole is actually like surviving with the two Colonel Poles on the bottom. That was that's surprising to me, but good to know. Okay, some of these Primal Walnuts definitely need a refresh, especially up here where there's a lot of uh, zombies coming in super soon. Do a bit of that, get another plant food. Always good to see. Wow, okay, yeah, this is turning out great. I'm, I'm surprised by how good this is. I mean, it could all fall apart any moment, but with the last wave coming in, we do have the lawnmowers to protect us, so at the least, this is a clear. It might not be perfect, but we might be able to get a win in just a moment. Hopefully, the Tangle Kelp can get at least one of those guys. Uh, there we go. So with this being the last wave, I definitely don't mind risking it a little bit when it comes to sun. Just get rid of a good chunk of them, just like that. And then let's use some plant food. Just have the watermelon or winter melon extravaganza. Awesome. We did it. We, we cleared that with flying colors. That was amazing. Okay, first day of Big Wave Beaches episode today. <laughs> the first episode of today. I ordered that awful. But yeah, in the second episode of Big Wave Beach, we got it done. That's all that matters. Okay, let's keep it going. Got a couple more levels until we unlock the bowling bulb. So day number 10. We're hitting double digits. Oh, it looks like we have our high tide. Oh, we got more bowling bulbs. Okay, is this gonna be another bowling level? I guess not. So we're gonna have to figure out how these guys actually work. Do I like tap them? Was that me? No, they're going on their own. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, but they do regrow over time then. Oh, okay, that's actually quite reliable. And we definitely don't want them, I'm gonna guess they can't even be put on lily pads then, right? Like maybe I'm wrong, but I'm gonna assume that's the case. I mean, maybe I should try to put one on a lily pad, but it wouldn't really make much sense if they could be, you know? Right now I gotta protect against these guys as much as I can. There's a, there's a, oh gosh, a bucket head up there. What are we doing about him? That does do some good damage to him. He has plant food, oh definitely, for sure. Please grab the bucket head, please grab the bucket head. Yes, awesome. Okay, that's good, that's good. Let's get this here and hope that's enough and get this here. Oh, help me out, help me out. Don't eat my pea shooter. Yeah, you didn't eat my pea shooter, but you didn't eat my pea shooter up there, no. <laughs> oh well, okay, this is a perfect timing for this because I really need some extra help. There we go. Okay, so let's get another one of these here. Get another pea shooter set up. Lots of stuff moving, but we're making some progress. Now the bowling bulbs are definitely interesting. I don't know what kind of plant they're based off of. They sort of look like coconuts but obviously they're not bowling coconuts. They're bowling bulbs. It's interesting, for sure. Uh, let's put that there. I guess I'll put this pea shooter down here if that's the case. Lots of bucket heads just pouring in. Don't know how to handle all this. Okay, get that there for sure. Come on, come on, save that pea shooter! No! Okay, that's the best we could do. I should probably try the plant food on one of the bowling bulbs. Let's try it here. Whoa, oh, that's what makes like the electrical ball of doom. Gotcha. Okay, this guy's not being very nice. It'll be the first one where we get three of them. Oh, because he doesn't pop up. Gotcha, that's what's happening there. That's where it's nice to have a plant that launches, or at least to do this to him. There we go, get some more plant food. Okay, now we get a lot of bowling bulbs everywhere, which is great. I'll get that there. Come on, come on. Ooh, that's still scary close. I think I might do another one. Just like that. That got rid of a couple of them, but unfortunately I think we lost on a pea shooter because of it. Oh well, did what we could. It's the last final wave and we do have a good chunk of plant food left over. I'm thinking we could wait it out for just a moment. Or we're gonna wait until it gets a little bit closer. And then we'll, we'll see what zombies are available and where we should probably put out this seaweed. I'm thinking about here. I mean, it doesn't seem to be about where exactly, so I haven't even tried this. Okay, so they can be put on the lily pad. I don't think that makes too much sense. I feel like you wanna put them somewhere else. I probably should've put that for the guy on the top, actually. Uh, well, this guy's getting a little close for comfort, but I know what to do about it. Come on, launch it. There it is. Not bad, okay, we won once again. We kept all of our lawnmowers. So far, so good. Get ourselves another five coins and another five coins for the lawnmowers. We're good to go. 
One level remaining, we unlocked that bowling ball too. I'm super excited. Day 11, survive the zombie attack with most plants picked for you. Which plants are picked for us then? Oh, there's a new zombie there, he's a surfboard. So the sunflower, bowling bulb, potato mine, walnut, and lily pad. Pretty basic setup here. Hmm. I've been wanting to try something a little bit different, like maybe the snapdragon. I don't know how well that would actually turn out, but maybe like the snapdragon and kernel pole would be good. There's more launching plants like that. We'll see how it goes. Because I now know for sure I could, you know, I have a couple of spaces on the left where I can work things out. I mean, obviously I'm supposed to put the bowling bulbs somewhere. They're 200 sun though, that's actually pretty pricey. Hmm. Maybe I should've done a tangle cow. <laughs> Hindsight 2020 on that one. Uh, I'm already tempted to refresh that. Here, I'll put a potato mine there and we'll do a kernel pole right. Ooh. Yeah, we'll do it here. I don't think we're gonna end up doing the Snapdragon too much when I'm looking at this. We'll have to wait and see. But I'll at least slow her down for a little bit. You're gonna get through that, but at least I get some extra sun. Okay, so this is where it becomes a bit problematic, but I think we can make it work. If I could just get a bit more sun, that'd be great. Come on now. Come on. I need 200 sun if I wanna actually do what I'm trying to do here with the bowling bulb. I don't know if that'll be enough. Be honest with you. I don't know, we'll have to wait and see. Uh, okay, I do have it. I sort of wish he, oh gosh, that's a problem. Hold on, hold on, I need another lily pad. Oh no, they actually got him though. Okay, cool. Okay, we're good, we're good, let's keep moving. Because I got plenty more things left to do. Like stopping this person as soon as physically possible. There we go, that's all I can do for right now, then that's what I'll do. Jeez Louise, this is tough, because there's just so many people moving around right now. I'll put that there, just in case. And I need a bowling ball in the center. Bowling bulb. Oh gosh, the surfing zombie's coming in. What, what, okay. Uh, no, no, no. That's bad. Oh, this is a tough level. What are you, you're just surfing the whole way through, and now you're here. Come on, that's not fair. What do you do about that? <laughs> what do I do about this? There's too many things. There's too much. I don't like it. Come on, come on. I can't even put anything where the surf thing is either. Oh, that's weird. Oh, that's really weird. There. Are you gonna get rid of my plant though? I, I guess you would've, yeah. Come on, I just need like an extra second here. If you guys are willing to give it, I'd really appreciate it. At this point, I wouldn't really mind a Snapdragon like right here. I know it's not conventional, but it's like the best I got. Uh, everything's falling apart. I don't like the plants they gave me for this because they're just not packing as much punch as I need. Is that even hurting them? I don't think it is. I'd have to do something like this. Jeez. I'm gonna have to do something similar up there too, which obviously isn't gonna work out very well because I need more plants soon enough. There we go. Come on, butter you guys up. Oh, this is so not gonna work. Yeah, I'm just gonna, if it'll let me. Run these guys over. I need more sunflowers out as soon as possible. Man, oh man, because like this could have worked maybe with like primals because it would have given more, given more sun, of course. I need more sun, so I gotta do this. I still have no idea how to stop the surfing zombies. Like that to me is a mystery right now. I guess just put sunflowers in front and put bowling balls in the back and hope for the best is sort of kind of what I can do and that's it. And the bowling bowl there. Gonna butter everybody, cause I, okay. Everybody but the surfing zombies, cause they're immune when they're surfing. Surfboards are up, I guess. Man, oh man. This is ridiculous. Totally ridiculous. I don't even have like any sun right now. Come on, come on. I know this isn't very conventional, to say the least. I definitely could have chosen my plants better as well, the ones I actually could choose, the two slots I had. But I did what I could with what I had. Don't you dare, you stinker. Get rid of my stuff. I wonder if a Grave Buster can get rid of the surfboard. Huh, that's an interesting question. Because it sort of works like a gravestone, doesn't it? 
Okay, I don't have anything up there to place. I don't have plants that work with this. This is why I really need the primal walnut as well. Butter, 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 butter. Can I dig up the surfboard? I can't. Oh no. And I can't use a potato mine right now either, so I'm basically done for over here. Unless I want to get another Snapdragon and do that. And this isn't even the final wave, so like, yeah, I'm basically guaranteed done for. But I'm trying my best to change that. However I can. However fruitless it might be, or seen. Definitely does not feel like things are going our way right now. Come on, no, leave those Snapdragons alone! Oh my gosh, come on! This is insane! It's like, okay, here's 20 more serpent zombies. You wanted that, right? <laughs> come on, I don't have anything to protect me on that top lane. So once that walnut is done, I'm done. Yep, and there it goes. What the heck do you do? How is he able to instantly, I guess because of the, oh my gosh, this is insanity. Total insanity. There's like no way I'm gonna survive, but I'm gonna try my best, because I don't have anything to protect myself up there. Do that then. Luckily they're not surfing zombies. There we go. Come on, is there any way I can survive this one and just get out of here forever? Like I don't care about those other lanes so much because they uh, my best bet might actually be doing this. So as long as that bottom lane can survive somehow, which it looks like it's not going to. Oh no, oh no. I probably shouldn't have done that. No, I shouldn't have. Oh, I didn't mean to do that either. Oh, I'm done. I can't, we were so close. I really don't wanna spend a power up on this. Okay, I will, because this level is not fun. <laughs> I don't wanna deal with any more than I have. I'm getting out of here. <laughs> oh wow, that's a shame. But uh, hey, we get the bowling bulb. I feel like this level would be a heck of a lot easier if I knew how to better incorporate it and I had better plants to choose from. So hopefully now that we have it, we can learn from that and we can move forward. <laughs> But hey, we get the bowling ball. Rolls bouncing shots that can hit multiple zombies. Not bad. So let's see what our travel log reward is over this way. Looks like we get, ba ba da ba, 100 coins. Getting us to 75,000, two more Tangled Kelp experience, and two more bowling ball experience. Five out of 10 for that one. Okay, not bad, let's see what our next quest is. It's going to be unlock Guacodile. Guacodile shoots, swims, and charges forward on defeat. Revenge! Complete Big Wave Beach Day 19, which is something we'll do in the next episode. All right, so our level objectives, plan your defense to defeat the zombies. I'll do what I can. So does that mean we have a predetermined amount of sun? Yep, 1,750. Okay, so obviously the first thing I'm gonna need is lily pads and tangle kelp. Beyond that, I think that we could go another kernel pull, melon pull strategy, but we probably wanna also try the bowling bulb. So I'm gonna try that out a little bit. And kernel pull. And lastly, we might wanna do like primal, or maybe just normal walnut because we don't have to wait for plant refresh might be my best bet. I wouldn't mind, oh, there's not gonna be enough real estate, but doing something like spike weed. I don't think that's gonna work out by the end of it. I might just do normal melon pull because to save sun, because we don't have too much. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to use too much of that at all, but I just gotta try it. Wouldn't mind using something like magnet shroom, but I don't think it's gonna work out too well. The problem is the surfing zombies, and I do sort of wanna check the almanac for that, for the zombie side, because I don't know if there's anything I can really do about it, because like, I'm sort of having a hard time understanding how that really works. So where's that, surfing zombie. Uh, surfer zombie. Surfs past plants on the waters, then carries a board on land. Can crush a plant with his board. Okay, well it looks like his speed is flighty, his toughness is dense. I think our best bet will be destroying him before he gets there. I wonder if laser bean would be good. Like obviously that wouldn't be too good against like, say the snorkeling zombies. But it could still happen, the problem is it's too expensive. So like I'll get it in here. Or maybe I should try something like the spring bean. Like, would that work? I don't know. <laughs> it's hard, I'm trying to figure out a strategy for these guys. So in the back, we will do bowling bulbs. And then after that, kernel pulse. And we're already like super low in sun, like we have enough for that, and that's it. 
So what is, I wanna, I sorta wanna try this. So we'll just see what's going on, cause like, that's sort of the thing so far, right? That I've been having a hard time with is like, with Jurassic Marsh, it was tough, but it was clear what you had to do to survive. It was just not easy to do. Here, I feel like it's one of those things where there isn't too much you can do at times when it comes to some of these enemies. You just have to hope. You just have to hope it turns out okay. But it's going okay so far. I do have plant food, but if I could hold out. Oh my gosh, you guys, are you kidding me already? Already. You guys are the stinkiest I've ever met. I hope you know. Like, what do you do against the surfer zombie then? If he's just gonna smash whatever plants in front of you and he gets there before all the other zombies do, is there really anything that can be done? I don't know. <laughs> this is a question not for me to answer, it feels. Because I don't have the answer. Okay, get rid of that guy before he eats my kernel pole. There's another plant food down there, which is actually perfect. Low tides coming in, which I don't know if that benefits me or not. I mean, I guess it does slow down the surfer zombies a little bit, which is good. There is something satisfying about watching them fall over with how much trouble they give us. So a huge wave is coming up. The problem is it's not giving us any plant food. So what, what is my best bet? Is it going to be using it against a kernel pole or not? Because this right here is the last of it. So I need to do this because, oh, but it doesn't even take out the surfer zombies. I keep forgetting that. I mean, I think this was a better choice than the laser beam. <laughs> With that being said, was it a good choice? That's to be determined. I think I'm gonna just do this. Sacrifice it. Just get it out of there. Oh no, 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 no. Come on, come on, get rid of that guy. Come on, you just need to hit the surfer zombie one more time. Oh, that's so worst. Oh well. At this point, I'm just happy to survive. Whatever that entails. I don't even know if we will survive back there. It, it's really going to be a to be determined kind of thing. If I dig some of these guys up, do I get, I get some stun, or sun. Can I do this? <laughs> that sorta kinda helps. I'll take it. All right, um, yeah, do this. And maybe I could do this. I wanna save as much as I can here. That's about all I'm gonna be able to save, isn't it? All right, well, I tried. Uh, well, I could try doing this again. Is this really worth doing? No, it's not. Okay, whatever, speed it up. Speed it up, get it done, get out of here. The bowling balls will be able to deal with that guy on the top at the least. But those two on the bottom, it's just too much. There it is. Okay, come on, bowling bulb. So it's only the bottom one that keeps regrowing. I'm guessing because, I'm guessing maybe there's not enough time for the other two bigger ones to regrow or something? Or maybe that's just how it works, is you get three big ones and then it just stays, or three, you know, we get the small, medium, and large ones. No, okay. Yeah, I thought so. <laughs> okay, well, we did it. We got two lawnmowers remaining. It's something. I'm just glad to make it through. <laughs> okay, well, we get a pinata on a surfboard. This world really is tough. You guys weren't kidding. <laughs> what do we get inside of this one? We get another 100 coins. Four lily pad experience, that's a level up for the lily pad, that's good. Three experience for the tangle kelp, that's a level up for the tangle kelp. So two level ups for plants we're definitely gonna use some more of. Day 13, produce at least 2,000 sun and never have more than 16 plants. You know, like this would be difficult without the requirements. <laughs> so, we're gonna get Primal Sun Funnel, but before we do, let's get those level ups, because I do need those, for sure. I'm gonna use these guys, so might as well. So Tangle Kelp, a thousand sun, a thousand coins, I mean. Increase the recharge, toughness, and damage. That's pretty cool. I'm more looking for the recharge there. And for Lily Pad, more of the same. More the recharge and toughness, and that's exactly what it gets. It goes from five seconds to 4.5, which, hey, that might be what exactly we need to you know save us at some point or another. Okay, so with that being done, we are not quite finished. We are going to set up our plants and try to survive this. So what makes this difficult, and this is where actually I'm tempted to, I haven't played the rotabaga too much. I need some kind of plant that's going to make it so that I have some kind of actionable thing going on in the water without having to place a lily pad. Because if I want to place a walnut, I have to place two separate plants. So, the Tangle Kelp and the Rotobaga are gonna be really big things here, I think. So definitely what we have so far, 
like the lily pads I'm gonna have for the primal sunflower, have more lily pads, and then do something like that. And then I wouldn't mind having some kind of limited use plant, like something that explodes and then it's done, so obviously. Cherry bomb, beyond that, I'm thinking, I'm not really sure. Uh, maybe I could have a kernel pole just in case, because that could still be helpful. It likely will be. Actually, no, I need Primal Wanna. I need some kind of protection actively happening. So while I would love to put the bowling bulbs in the back, I can't, I need the room. So that's where this gets so tough, because the high tide's gonna come in. So I need everything set up on lily pads. So for you, it's like, I just need you out of here. I need to not worry about you. Because I can't afford to have more than one row of sunflowers this time around. What are my chances of being able to tangle kelp him before he gets to the sunflowers? Pretty high, I think. Unless like the low tide comes in at the perfectly worst time. But at that point, I would just reset and retry. Yeah, it's about to be available again. And this is where I need to start putting up more lily pads. So like that's gonna, oh man. We're almost out of plants spots already. How do you do that? That's crazy. Um, Because it's only about whatever plants you have in total, right? Or is that four left, right? Okay, then it goes back up to five. See, that's what I was worried about. Because once we get these lily pads out, we're done. Like, we, we won't have actually any room to play the actual plants. So I need the, like, how would you do this without rotabaga? Because some people were saying that this level, or the uh, Big Wave Beach actually came out before Frostbite Caves did, so technically, like, you know, if you were playing these back when they released, you wouldn't even have this right now, you know? Then how would this even be possible? Like, I'm not wrapping my mind around something specific here, right? Because how would this actually be doable? How would you be able to do that? I don't know. And there goes that plant. Or not, oh, okay, it actually goes right past him. Um, for better or for worse, it seems. Because uh, now he's back, and of course he's going to smush my sunflower, because what do you know, he's a jerk. I don't know if I can do anything about that. Dang it, okay. This is clearly not gonna work, but what would work here? Like, I don't understand. I don't know. Like, I simply am totally flabbergasted by this. Okay, he's gonna fall. Like, yeah, that's not gonna work. Come on, come on, just get rid of him, that's good. Like, maybe just having a horde of these guys at this point. Like, get rid of all my sunflowers, just have a ridiculous amount of these guys. Like, it might work and that'd be great. We'll have to wait and see. Oh no, 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 not happening. I was hoping that would also get that guy, but no. Why do that? Okay, got rid of him. Come on, get rid of the surfer zombie, get rid of him. Be gone, surfing zombie of doom and destruction. You guys are worse than like every other zombie. Like the shovel zombie, not a problem. The punk rock zombie, not a problem. The surfing zombie, oh, he makes me wanna scream. <laughs> okay, let's go and do this quickly before he eats a rotabaga. Don't touch the rotabagas, they're sacred. There we go. <laughs> oh my gosh. Like, I, I just, I'm still wrapping my head around how would the, like, I feel like after I complete this level, I just sort of want to look up this level to see, like, how, how would you have done this? Because I don't know. It's beyond me. I mean, it says there's six left. Okay, get that going on. That was okay. Oh, this guy needs something to be there. Okay, and that's going to be a problem down below. Yeah, they're going to hit that. Ah, uh, well. Should have thought about that. Because the lily pads just, you know, take up so much of that. Like right now, if I want to place more sunflowers, that'd be too bad. Okay, this is the last wave, so let's just go crazy with this. And then get crazy with it again, because apparently that wasn't enough. That really wasn't that good. <laughs> oh no. Um, well, they have the Primal Wanna up there protecting them, so that's great. I don't need this. At some point, the tide's gonna come back in, but if I could just do that, just get rid of a good chunk of them. Here we go, here we go. Ready, here. Nice, okay, it's something. That's all I need is a little bit of something. 
So I missed out on two lawnmowers. And this strategy works, which is great, but I don't know how you would have done this. Wait. I didn't produce enough sun! <laughs> oh man, I was I just saw for sure that would have ended up happening. I thought you could have just given him one of the plant food. Oh man. All right, so I got the 2000 sun this time by immediately just using the plant food on the sunflower. I did take a quick search. It looks like some people just would just rush the bowling balls, which I feel like would be such a difficult thing to do. I mean, props to anybody who could do that, but I mean, so far I'm just not good enough with it to actually manage that. And like right now, I barely am managing what I'm doing right here. I mean, it looks like I got something gone there. I definitely have had to do way things in ways that aren't as productive because of the case that I'm trying my best to, um, keep my sun moving in. But now that I've gotten the sun, I can just do more of this and hope it just works out okay. I mean, I'm gonna be super upset at this point if I lose again, because I've really worked hard here. <laughs> Come on, they just get rid of everything because they're jerks. Wait, did they eat that? No, they didn't. Okay, thank goodness. There's, wait, did they? I mean, I guess it got rid of the one. Okay, you guys stink. You're not fun to deal with. Come on, I know we can do this. I know we can. Got it? I'm gonna get rid of this stuff. I'm gonna get a primal walnut right now. I know that's gonna go bye-bye eventually. Okay, I need something right here to get rid of those guys on the top. This is the final wave coming in. Get more rotabagas out because we can afford that at the moment. Okay, that's a little too late for that one. Oh well. No, no, I got it, I got it, cool. Come on, now the problem is I'm totally out of sun. So like, it might be worth to get another sunflower out and do this. And with it, get rid of these things, get the plant food, get a primal walnut like right there. That should be good. It's just those, the top and the bottom lanes can be a bit problematic. But is this the last guy for real? Because if it is, I could just do this. Were you the last dude? You were the last one. Okay, this time for real, we got it done. I think we ended up losing less lawnmowers, right? That was only there was only one. All right, well, I'll definitely take it. I think that's just supposed to be a super tough level all around. Day 14, level objective: survive the zombie attack with the given plants. Let's hope it gave me some good plants. Oh no! I got the monster gargantuar. And we got some sunflowers needing to put down pronto. So let's get to it. I do get some tangle kelp this time. So the game's at least kind enough to do that for me. Got it. And immediately tangle you up into some kelp. Do a bit of that. Okay, so oh, we got a chomper too? No, I don't want coins. I just wanted to slow the things down. And there goes my music. This has become a lot more tense without the music. Uh, the chompers, I really don't know how we'll properly utilize them, but I do know that I could do that. It became low tide way sooner than I was, well, was it low tide? Maybe it was already like this. Uh, Okay, so what I think I'll do is something like that there, and we'll make this the bowling bulb. I think that's good to get out first. To establish the bowling bulb will be more important because they're more expensive, and they'll have more longevity than a chomper for the most part. Come on, just one more sunflower will do me well. Okay, not bad, not bad. I'm gonna get another bowling bulb. And then just hope that I can tangle kelp you up here. Yep, that shouldn't be too big of a deal. Now I just need to do this and that. Awesome, here comes the surfing zombie because he's the worst dude of all time. There we go. If I do this and I put this here so he just falls, like maybe that'll be enough. Eat him, come on chopper, give him a chop. Yeah, and he doesn't even drop his thing. That's great. Okay, okay. Um, I'm gonna have to tangle kelp you so I can focus on this up here. Oh man, <laughs> the music. Okay, the music should kick back in now that a huge wave is coming in. There it goes. Okay. Oh boy, another chomper over this way would be perfect. Man, oh man. And then another chopper over this way as soon as possible. Leave my plants alone. Oh, he, they ate them before they even landed? That's great. Come on, come on, come on, ready? Eat them. Good job. Okay, come on, keep it going. I'm putting this here. I'm putting that there. Please get the right one. 
You didn't get the right one. Oh well. What can I do here? I could, I don't know if that was worth it actually. Oh my gosh. I might have even preferred if they just let us uh, set up our own plants at this rate. Use the Tangle Kelp, that'll be my best bet there for sure. Okay, they, eat through, they ate through this walnut. Okay, so I think now is, I mean, I, I'd rather not have to put out plant food just yet. Okay, yeah, eat that one. Nice, that was perfect, actually. Let's do this here. Tangle Kelp you. Okay, whoa, 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 whoa. Was not ready for that. Okay, low tide, it's not the last round, though. This is where I would really like a cherry bomb, I gotta be honest. Man, they immediately ate through that. Get that there. I need to do something about this. I need to. Um, oh gosh, I'm out of sun at the worst possible time. Come on, come on, come on, do this, do this, do something. Yes, okay, that actually worked. I can't believe it. So we need to do something about that guy. Uh, good question, what are we doing about him? Can this work? Does Tangle Kelp do anything? It hurts him to some degree. That's good, all I can ask for, really. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, oh, but he's down, awesome. Okay, that does a lot of damage. No, leave him alone. Okay, you know what, I need to do this. I need to chomp you. I don't need any of that. What are you doing? No, nah. -uh. Come on, oh my gosh. D okay, whatever, take your darn lawnmower then. What a stinker. I tried to put stuff in front of him, I just needed the darn wanna. It's never available when I need it the most. My own fault, really, but. <laughs> oh well, we got it. That was so difficult, but hey. Uh, it's only gonna get more difficult, so we better get ready. Okay, we got some Guacadal experience for a plan I don't even have yet, but we'll get them soon enough. We'll get three more experience with the Tangle Kelp, only 72 more to go. <laughs> okay, there, oh, at least that's done. Oh boy, day 15, survive and protect the endangered plants I would love to. They're all potato mines, so, but that stinks, because you can't use them like you want a potato mine. Oh man, what do you do about this? I don't even want to know. What do you do? <laughs> oh gosh, because how do you stop the surfing zombies? Like my best bet is to outmuscle them, you know? Well, if I want to do that, I'm gonna need to get something like that. I guess the bowling bulbs again. And like maybe the tonal would be better, but it probably won't be, so I should probably go for more effective things like the primal walnut. And if I could just like maybe stun him in some way. I don't know if that'd actually work at all. Maybe I should just go kernel pull. And then like maybe I need some a little bit more fi pow firepower like the red stinger I feel might be good. Like in the back, just have a couple red stingers. Like that could work. Maybe. Also, maybe totally not. We'll find out. Okay. Zombies are coming, surprise, surprise. Happens every level when there's zombies, what do you know? There's, oh man, there's four flags to get through too. So that's not gonna be a walk in the park or a swim through the park or anything. So I think the Tangle Kelp will be able to get him before he gets here. We'll have to hope for the best, but that's what I'm waiting for. Yep, right here, come on, get him. Why is he just, okay, there it goes. Right, yep, okay, thank goodness. I need to get this for Sun, I need to. And then I'm gonna get a Red Stinger there and hope I can get a Tangle Kelp for the other guy. I don't know if that's actually worth my while. Huge wave of zombies already, because the game just loves me. Yeah, this is starting to feel like a mistake, the whole Red Stinger idea, I don't know. I just don't know. Um, I do know though, I need more sun. I need a red singer there. I'm gonna dedicate, it to my, uh, dedicate myself to doing this this time. I'm gonna get that there. Get something over this way, anything. 
Come on, keep him. We got plenty of sun. Just getting everything out in time now might be a bit of a challenge. Especially with it being high tide. There it goes, come on. Ooh, that was close on the bottom. Once again, if those potato mines pop, we're done. It's over, so I can't let that happen. Get at least like one tangle kelp over that way. And then I'm thinking we can have the bowling bulbs here. I, that might be an awful idea. I have no clue at this rate. Okay, 200 sun for this right there. Shouldn't be too bad. Oh my, uh, that's a lot of zombies right away. Gotta be honest, that's more than I was bargaining for. Uh, and there go my bowling bulbs. Thank you, game, thank you. <laughs> I wanted to keep those, but I guess I won't be. I might have like more than one row of primal wanna or something like that. Cause they all popped up, all the ones that were there, they popped up about there. Cause I need this to protect against the surfing zombies, which surfing zombies are in this level, right? I mean, I think they are, I just assumed they were because why wouldn't they be? <laughs> it's, it's, it's Big Wave Beach. Every powerful zombie they can throw at you is gonna be here. Okay, so I just need to pay attention to the health of the primal walnuts we have down there. Maybe this guy starts to hurt a little bit, which it looks like he's starting to hurt a little bit. We just need to prep for that. Like I wouldn't mind even doing something like this and start maybe replacing them here and there. Do like a little bit of a switcheroo. Might be my best bet, to be honest with you. Okay, can I tangle kelp this guy or what? Can it, can it, can it? It, it kelped him, that's good. Okay, uh, oh, there's a there's a surfboard thing there. Okay, that's not good. Get the bowling bulb, just like that. It's actually not too bad. You just gotta pay attention to the health of the primal wa- How? What do you do? You're kidding me, right? What, what, do you, what can you do about that? So a lot of people have been suggesting to me that maybe I should try some different sunflowers and walnuts. A lot of people specifically have been saying infinite and twin sunflower might be better than some other things. I don't really know, so I guess we're gonna find out. Right now the risk though is affording the twin sunflower while also getting everything infrastructurally ready for all of the zombies pouring in. Which right now, I don't think is going too badly, but that could change any moment, and that's what I'm trying to be careful of. Okay, did another twin sunflower. And then this should be available any second. Come on now. I gotta get that first, just to be careful. And I don't think I wanna use my plant food against the sunflowers right now. I think I wanna be able to save it so that I can use it against any surfing zombie that pops up, you know? That might just be my best bet. And then we get some wild stuff going on. In not the most fortunate of ways. Uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna do this. And that. Hope for the best. And let's see how well these twin sunflowers perform. Because a huge wave of zombies are approaching. And I am very nervous. So I wanted to try this. I don't know how long this lasts, so I'm trying to wait until like the last possible moment. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this one, I think. And put that there. And if that surfer zombie shows up, I'm like done for is the problem. Get that there, and like it's working through it. We just gotta hope for the best, I suppose. Got it, okay. I need the bowling bulb in the in the middle. Come on, more sun, more sun. I don't mean to be so demanding and pushy, but at the same time, I, I really need to be demanding and pushy right now. Come on, come on. Just 50 more sun, there it is, thank you very much. Let's try this out. Huge wave of zombies coming in. I am not the least bit prepared. Oh boy. Let's just try refreshing this if I can. <laughs> um, that sort of kind of worked. Is this, this is going somewhere. I can say that much. Definitely wanna deal with that bucket that, had that, that has the plant food. Hmm. <clears throat> I wouldn't mind having more sunflowers, but I don't know what our chances are of that. Right now, if we could get, yep, another bowling bulb, like maybe huge bowling bulb armada might be the best thing we could possibly ask for. Just wanna try for. See, it's sort of weird when the bowling bulbs refresh. I guess it's just like whenever, I mean, it seems to be a time thing, 
but if there's like a ton of zombies, it doesn't work out as well. So you'll see like that guy got sucked by the wave. At the same time though, it was a little weird. Like he still has his surfboard though. Like I need to stop him at all costs. Let's put that there. And they're all trying to eat through it. So I'm gonna refresh it right now, because we're making it. This is actually happening right now. Like, I don't know how long this is gonna last because then this, like, stuff like this happens and it gets real crazy real fast. Oh boy. Oh man, I cleared a lot of them though. Wowie. Jeez Louise. This is actually working. Okay. Well, thank you for everybody for the infinite suggestions. There we go. Okay, I'll take it. That's a win. Day 15 and we get a bingo card. Because somebody's having fun during their vacation playing some bingo. Can we actually read this one? That'd be cool. Because last last world we didn't have that. Yeah, we can. Look at this. Four brains in a row. Three brains in a row and a zombie. Look, it must be time to play Beach Zombie Bongo. <laughs> bingo, user Dave. It's bingo. You already won, Penny. Wow, you're good at this. <laughs> I love those two. They have a great dynamic. Okay, yeah, there's a lot of other plants on here too. I see the, the Tangle Kelp the bowling bulb, the lily pad, I think that's called the thistle or something like that. Um, chomper, another bowling bulb, another lily pad, banana, and the glockodile on the bottom there, <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay. So the last level of the day, Zombos is here to, to talk to us. Dudes, like you're real, you're totally in for it now. The deep sea gargantuars have their slimy sights on you. You can run, you can swim, but you can't escape their scally grip. Oh no. Ah, that dude is totally gnarly. He is also quite unpleasant, user Dave. Quite unpleasant. Indeed he is. Level objective, survive a massive attack at Big Wave Beach. Survive without any lawn mowers. Will it be conveyor belt level? I sure hope so, usually these levels are. I was saying it should be a bit more relaxing and then I accidentally unplug my tablet and the whole thing goes black. I'm like, uh oh, what did I do? Okay, so I think we should put the bowling bulbs way in the back, as far back as we can really put them. We do have some tangle kelp if we need it. I'm hoping we don't. And it's really just about seeing which plants we end up getting. Okay, we do get some chompers. I'm gonna hold on to the chompers for now. Get that dude, get him out of here. I will, I will have two layers of, uh, what are they called, lily pads. Just to be careful, I don't want to do any more than that, just in case, like, I don't know, they pop up somewhere and we, we need more. So I'm thinking, ooh, walnut out this way would actually be perfect. So I'm thinking probably chompers here is probably what it's trying to get at here. Well, probably shouldn't have done that. Probably should have put something up top. Okay, well, I'm doing what I can with what I got, even if that's not much. Okay, who do I want to put this on? I'm thinking this guy. Then I got a chomper, oh no, this is nasty, this is messy, this is all kinds of things. Okay, you know what, I need to do this. I got the plant food, I gotta make it happen. I can't believe he slammed a surfboard on my chomper. How rude can one zombie get? It's like that person at the beach who's gonna accidentally kick sand on your sandwich, but you know it wasn't really an accident, they were just being careless. I mean, I guess that still counts as an accident. You know, I guess that's a matter of perspective. <laughs> Depends on how much you wanted the sandwich. Okay, uh, let's let's see this. No, I just need, I need more. Oh my gosh, it's not good, because I really need, I don't know. I was gonna say more, another lily pad to put the walnut in front of him, but I don't know if that would even really be all that helpful. Okay, I need to do this, because this gargantuan is gonna tear us up if I don't. There we go, he's gone. Got rid of my poor chomper, though. He didn't deserve that. That chomper was a hard working dude. Okay, put this here. I'm gonna do this and do that. That might not be the best idea in the world, but it's the idea we're going with. Man, oh man, this is tough. <laughs> I knew it was gonna be tough, I knew it. But like, come on. Like, I don't know really what I can do here, except for hold on tight and just keep planting stuff. I mean, that's sort of the big thing here, the big problem. Okay, here we go, here we go, come on. Plant food at the perfect time, sort of, kind of. Also, sort of, kind of not, but. So like, what am I doing to deal with the bucket head up there? I don't have anything. I have no way to. So I might lose up here. 
Come on, eat one of them. You're not even gonna eat, come on, jumper, you gotta do something. Uh, looks like I lost then. That stinks. I just gotta try again. That's really tough. Like, I just don't know exactly what I can do better there. So, like, I already got a surface zombie before even my first Tangle Kelp, which is crazy, but apparently got rid of him. Okay, the bowling bulb did. Really? Okay. I mean, I'll take it. I'm gonna hold on to all my Tangle Kelp for as long as physically possible so that hopefully I can use them on the surfer zombies. I mean, sometimes I get really mixed up with the other zombies, though, so that might not be so doable, but it's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm getting luckier with, like, which plants are actually showing up this time and when and how and where. But definitely when you hold on to plants like this, it definitely ends up like everything goes a little slower in terms of, I don't know, everything. Okay, let's do this. Okay, and this is where things get problematic, but that's why I have this kind of stuff. And that definitely bounced through a good chunk of them. Because it's almost like a mini cherry bomb that just bounces through all that. So I need a chomper back there. Okay. Ooh, that got rid of him. Nice. Okay, just go ahead and snag that guy then. At the least we could do that. So this is going a little bit better. I might get messy when the chomper, not the chomper, the gargantuar show up. We'll have to wait and see. Come on, come on. I might just have to do something like this. I mean, I'll get a plant food out of doing it. And that's always good. Okay, gotta do it here. Come on. I get another plant food and another plant food. Low tide's coming in. Let's get it here. Okay, the chomper's down. Chomper's down. Not chomper, Gargant. I don't know why I'm getting those mixed up. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh boy. Come on. That bucket head's being a bit of a problem, but I think Chomper, he's about to swallow, so that should be good. No, it's gonna grab the bucket head, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, that's fine. Just do this. Get rid of this dude as soon as possible. There it is. Oh no, but we're in so much trouble now. I'm gonna actually start overflowing. No, that guy, that ch not the Chomper. <laughs> Everything's a Chomper right now. I don't know what we're doing about these guys. I don't have any plant food left. The best thing I can do is like sort of slow these guys down like this. And just sort of hope for the best. I mean, they both have two bowling balls to deal with. So at least that's good. Okay, here we go, Tangle Kelp. Come on, that could do some damage to him, for sure. I might have to use a power up here because I don't know what else to do. I wish I could have saved some power ups for this, but I couldn't. Come on, Chomper, can you at least do something? I have to. This stinks. This really bums me out. Because I'm gonna have to use another one even after that. I'm pretty sure. Come on. Hit him, hit him with something. Hit him with the big ones first, please. Okay, I'm gonna have to. Yep, I'm gonna have to. I really didn't wanna have to do that, but I had no choice. That is insanely tough. We were doing really well up until then, so I just don't know how else you're gonna handle it. Anyways, big kahunka. We got the, uh, I guess technically that's where we would have unlocked the key from this world. But yeah, we got it done. Next episode, we'll be getting the guacodile, as you can see. That'll be exciting. A treacherous eight levels. Definitely a whole lot more difficult than the first eight levels. We get 100 coins, which is good, because I need to rebuild some of my worth from spending it on those power-ups. We get more guacodile experience. We'll even be able to level up when we get it next episode. That's cool. Three experience with the lily pad, and I think that's gonna be it. Indeed it is. Oh my gosh, it's so tough. So obviously that's where we would have unlocked the key to unlock modern day. Not something I'm doing right now, but yeah, we are halfway through Big Wave Beach, and I feel like the worst is yet to come. We'll find out in the next episode as we go and unlock Guacodile and maybe even more. No, it looks like that's the only plan we're unlocking next episode, but that's fine. We'll do that. We'll hopefully turn out okay. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies 2. If you want to support a video, make sure you comment surfing zebra so they watch at the end of the URA zebra tastic viewer. Check out more episodes like this one on your screen right now or by subscribing to the Zebra Herd out of the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.